<laughs> Mickey, yeah. where are we? <laughs> well, first of all, welcome everybody. Coach Eric Broza here. And uh, welcome to Full Time Bodybuilding and uh, Merlin's Mind Over Muscle. We are at the new Fit Club in Summerlin. We have never been here before, so this is gonna be our first time exploring this place. We just went inside, I looked around. It is definitely very, very cool and it has the similar vibe to the other Fit Club uh, closer to the strip. And uh, so it's a, it's a real fun place. We're gonna uh, trade back today, uh, back some rear delts and traps. Of course, I'm gonna use some fun techniques. I'm gonna, techniques. I'm gonna torture both Dave and myself as it's just us today. And uh, really, really excited to do a workout here at the new Fit Club. It's great to explore new gyms. And again, that's why Dave is gonna eventually have to do a part two to the best gyms in Vegas because there's new ones opening all the time. This is the hot spot for body and fitness, no doubt. So, hope you guys enjoy the show. Okay guys, so we're gonna start the back workout with a little interesting technique. We're gonna do close grip pull downs using an incline bench, which is a really unique angle, makes this exercise pretty cool, different uh, field of the muscle. So the first repetition we're gonna bring down and we're gonna hold the contracted position for 10 seconds. I do this sometimes to get in touch with the muscle, feel the muscle contracted, which will actually help you to feel it better throughout the set. So after you hold that 10 second contraction, we're gonna go for 10 good quality reps, and then on the final rep, we're gonna hold the stretch position for 10 full seconds, which of course, of course, causes a lot of muscle damage, and muscle damage has to be repaired, therefore you will grow. So I'm gonna start this off. All right, it's gonna hurt. Second movement, I decided to do a seated row on a machine. This machine here, we used to have a similar one when we used to train back in Gold's Venice, so I saw it, wanted to jump on it. And what we're gonna do is sort of like a superset, you could say. Uh, we're gonna use both handles. We're gonna use the wide grip and the close grip. So what we're gonna do is the first five reps are gonna be with a wide grip, and we're gonna bring the weight back, and we're gonna hold the contracted position for four seconds. We're gonna do that for the first five reps. Then we're gonna to switch to the close grip and then we're gonna just bang out five reps in normal fashion. Go back to the wide grip and again, five reps holding the contracted position for four seconds and then finish off again with the close grip for five more reps. You're gonna feel a tremendous burn in your back if you give this a shot. Okay. So as you can see, He's using a wide grip, like I said, and he's holding the contracted position for four full seconds. Really, really feeling that mid-back, mid-traps area contracting hard. And now we switch to the close grip, bang out five good reps. The close grip is going to work a little bit more of the belly of the lats. It goes back to the wide grip with no hesitation and again, starts holding them again. Also, this change of speeds between the reps is another way to throw your central nervous system off and again, your muscles off. And they have to adapt to these changes. And by adapt, we mean muscle growth. Now the last five tough reps for a full set of 20. Nice. 
Okay, so for the third movement or combination of movements we're gonna do for back, we could do another superset, but a true superset. We're gonna start off with a stiff arm pull down, but done on an incline bench, which uh, definitely makes it a little bit more of a stricter, more isolated movement. And of course, when you're doing stiff arm pull down, the goal is to widen the lats at the top. So you have that really good V-shape starting right from the armpits. The second movement, we're gonna lower the bench, put on a, a different bar, and we're gonna do an underhand grip, high seated cable row. And that will also work the belly of the lat. So this combination of two movements is definitely for those of you who want nice wide lats all the way from the armpit down to where they insert near the hips. Give this one a shot. down to the lower portion of the chest. Squeeze it. Keep the elbows close. Stick the chest out at the bottom and arch the lower back. So the final movement for our lat workout, we're gonna do something that we've always called Merlin one-arm rows. Doing it here on an incline bench, uh, and I'll describe it more while Dave does it. It'll make it me easier to give you the points while he's doing it. But this movement is really, really great for isolating the lats, the belly of the lats, and taking any momentum out of the movement that you might get from regular one-arm rows. So I'll have dem Dave demonstrate that now. First, you guys could see the angle of the bench have it up somewhere around 55 degrees and as you can see he wraps the non-working hand around the bench to stabilize himself he also holds the dumbbell towards the top so that it tips back a little bit and goes towards his waistline by doing that he's going to work more of the lats and less of the rear delts as you can see it's a very strict movement but he's still going full range of motion, getting the elbow up equal to the torso, and getting a good contraction of the lats. Good. All right, so now we're moving into uh, little traps and rear delts. The first movement is a movement I've really grown to love. It's a seated mid-back shrug. So this is actually, unlike a traditional shrug, which works the top of the traps, this is going to work the lower portion of the traps and into the mid, mid back or the mid traps to give you that 3D effect in the middle of the back. Watch the form on this movement. It's a very short movement, so we're going to take advantage of the fact that it has a great peak contraction. We're going to hold the peak contraction for four seconds, but you have to make sure to be leaned over enough on this movement, otherwise you're just going to hit the upper traps and not the mid traps, so watch how I do this movement. So just get the bar under 
your legs, feet out in front. I'm gonna take a grip just a little bit outside shoulder width or maybe right at shoulder width. Okay. Watch how I lean over and just retract the shoulder blades. Okay, so the next shrugging movement is also a pretty unique movement. It's a single arm low cable shrug. And it's a very short movement, but it allows for, again, for a very, very strong contraction of the top. And when you do this movement, if you try it, make sure you really try to drive your shoulder all the way up into your ear, because it's that last little bit of contraction that you really feel it. But I'll tell you a little bit more while Dave does it, because there's a few form points that I want to get across. So as you can see, this is not a straight up and down shrug. The resistance is coming from away from his body. So he's almost shrugging up and in towards the ear rather than shrugging straight up and down. This gives a completely different feeling to the shrugging movement. So you can see his arm is all the way outstretched. There's no bend in his arm. He's keeping his head down. And you wanna keep your head down because this will allow you to get a little bit more range of motion than if your head was up you'll see that your trap kind of gets bunched up by your neck. But this way you're kind of keeping your neck out of the way. And as you can see, it's a short pinching movement, but you gotta be aggressive towards the top of the movement and really, really try to pick that shoulder up as if you're trying to just jam it into the side of your head and you'll feel a really strong contraction and burn. And I would say this is the kind of movement you wanna do higher ups. 15 to 20 or so gets the job done. And if you want to make it more challenging, again, just like we did with the last movement, you can hold the top position for a few seconds. A very unique shruggy movement. Okay, so the last movement we're gonna to do today is for rear delts. We're gonna work unilaterally, which I love to do. Uh, and we're gonna use a machine, actually I have to tell you again, this is a machine we used to use at Gold's Venice all the time for rear delts. Has a really, really great feel to it. It's a cable machine. It's this one right here, this free motion machine. Uh, and it's a, like I said, it's a one-sided movement. Uh, has a really interesting angle, so watch the way that I do it. And I also watch the grip that I use, because instead of using the standard grip, I actually just grab the ball at the end of the rope, and I pull this way. Uh, so give this movement a try. If you don't have this exact machine, you can maybe mimic it also in just a cable setup with a seat, probably get a similar feel. I'm gonna do this one now. Okay, so I'm sitting uh, sideways in the seat. I'm gonna put my hand through the handle. And just grab onto the knob here at the end of the cable. And my arm's up here, and you can see I'm going up at a slight angle, which helps me get a little bit more of a tighter contraction on the posterior delt. And I'm just going back far enough so that my posterior delt is contracting and I'm not getting into my traps. Controlling it and the negative as well. Not using any momentum whatsoever, just muscling it back. Biggie, what do you think of the new uh, Fit Club Summer? Actually, I said to you before that the gym has a really good feel, a good vibe to it. Um, obviously, it's like not really completely open open. It is open to the public, but they haven't had their full grand opening. And we spoke to one of the owners and he said that they're still expecting another like 15 pieces of equipment. Uh, one of the things that I, I love about 
the way they're doing it is they're they're not always looking for the newest pieces they're bringing some of the best old school pieces into the gym and that really really makes the gym for me personally people have been training for a long time you know really understand what good pieces of equipment feel like and they don't have to be all fancy and have all kinds of bells and whistles and be all shiny and crazy they just have to work well and feel well and there's so many pieces of equipment here like that already so once they, they bring in the uh, next 15 pieces I think this is going to be again like one of the hot spots of training again there's so many of them in Vegas but I think this is going to be another one for sure yeah so when I asked uh, Gavin uh, which is one of the owners uh, at the, uh, the original fit club he told me uh, please don't 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 judge because I don't have all the lighting in I don't have all the murals in you know so I want to come and train back with you today uh, here just to kind of get a feel for it because I heard it was open but like you said they haven't had the grand opening and they're, they're like uh, Ryan the other one we, the other, another one of the owner we saw him today see they were done about 60 percent which to me looks more like 80 percent but I guess he knows what he's talking about so what we'll do is once the um, so today we're gonna give you guys a, sp a sneak peek training here we didn't really focus on the gym, we focused more on the workout, but once I'm doing that uh, part two of all the top gyms in Vegas, I will definitely give you like a grand tour of this place so you guys can see everything that's in here and, and all that stuff. So today we kind of just focused on what we were doing, but yeah, uh, it's, it's a great, they did a great job already and I think it's gonna turn out to be a really good gym. Yeah, yeah I think so too. I, it has like that, I don't know, it's almost like a nightclubish kind of a vibe yeah but it's really really cool because it's different it's different a different feeling yeah, but, it's kind of uh, like a mix between uh, the the fit club and at uh, the original location and and the kilo in vegas which a lot of people haven't seen but if you've seen some of the uh, videos that we filmed with jay you can see what the fit club looks like they kind of mix the two yeah they definitely mix the yeah. two with some of like the the mirrors and the art and yes. stuff that's in yes. here so it's an great. interesting mix but yeah i think this is going to be it already is a great gym i really enjoyed my workout here but i think yeah. once they get it all finished, say so you haven't even finished painting all the murals and everything, uh, this place is gonna be totally awesome, so. Yeah, so we'll leave the info, so you guys, if you wanna come and check it out already, uh, you guys will know where it's at. I'll put the information at the beginning of the video. Um, but um, uh, did you have any uh, Merlin questions? For yeah, today? actually I had one good one this morning, which I'm glad that I got um, to bring here today. Somebody asked me, um, again, I don't have my phone with me, so I'm just gonna kind of remember what it said. The basic, the question was basically, uh, the person asked me, they said they train at a very, um, very basic gym. Uh, I, I think it might have been like an apartment gym kind of a thing. Oh, yeah. Uh, so he mentioned he has very, very limited equipment so that most of the stuff that he does uh, is kind of like he's stuck to kind of the same exercises at every workout because he doesn't have a lot of variety. So he asked me, is there some, how can I kind of inject some variety into my training while just having the same you know basic exercises and that's a really good question because a lot of people you know they do train in apartment gyms or maybe home gyms you had or, a gym like that your first place uh, yeah and i trained there Remember? quite a bit yeah so um so i have experience doing this so the best you know obviously i could answer this question for hours and we don't have hours so i'm going to just say some of the things you could do if you watch a lot of my videos that you know dave and i have done use some of the techniques that's the first thing I could say. Use some of the techniques that we use in some of these exercises. So instead of just doing your basic, you know, three sets of eight to 12 and whatever, you know, moving the weight at the same pace, emphasize the negatives on some sets, uh, you know, where you're doing four second negatives. Emphasize the positives on, set, on some sets you're doing, you know, four second positive concentric reps. Sometimes hold the stretch for four seconds. And I, I just use the, the four seconds because that's sort of our general, uh, the way we do it but of course even in this video we did 10 seconds at, at a, on a couple exercises so um, and then in some movements you know do the contractions so if you just you know use those principles and some of the exercises they'll feel completely different and they'll reach a whole nother level of intensity uh, another thing that you could do which a lot of people don't do uh, is changing their grips and their angles of push or pull and what I mean by that is let's just talk about wide grip pull downs for example most people just grab the bar maybe a little bit outside shoulder width and every time they do wide grip, grip pull downs they do it the same way with the same grip but it, you don't understand that if you just actually move your hands inward or outward by a few inches you will actually affect slightly different muscle fibers that you maybe weren't hitting before so just by changing the width of a grip on a lat pull down, on a bench press, on a barbell curl, 
um, even stances on a leg press or a squat, you will get a different effect from the exercise than you've been getting if you've been using the same stances and the same grips over and over again. So that's another you know, good thing to try. Um, and also, as I mentioned, changing angles of push or pull. So on this video, um, if you look at the first exercise we did, which was a close grip pull down, I used an incline bench. Uh, and I changed the angle from a straight up and down pull down to a pull down where we were pulling up and then towards us. And just by changing that angle, it's going to affect the muscles differently, the central nervous system, the muscles, the muscle fibers. So just subtle changes like that. Also, if you looked at the last movement we did for traps, which was the low cable shrug, we were shrugging from a position where the weight was being pulled away from our body into our body rather than straight up and down. So again, that's changing the angle of push or pull. So if you do those little things, use some of the principles, change uh, grips, uh, angles of push or pull, you can make one exercise into many exercises. So that's what I encourage you to do at your home gym. And I think you'll find that you start to get sore again if you haven't been getting sore before just by doing that. So I hope that helps.